-hmm. He's back. We're excited about that, and when he's well enough, he'll be out on the campaign trail. And we trail. all hope that is the case, that he fully recovers, although the doctors, upon releasing him, said he's not out of the woods yet. But, Hogan, then I'll ask you, based on those firsthand experiences, uh, what does it mean for the messaging on, on wearing masks, for example, and social distancing in a Rose Garden event? Do those change? Uh, listen, I, I am so... Uh, angry hit the way the media has covered this mask issue. Donald Trump was talking about masks on March 31st. April 3rd, he stood there in the briefing room with the CDC and they issued the guidelines, which included wearing masks. The only thing the press was concerned about at the time was their au pairs and their vacations. They didn't care about wearing masks. In fact, it was a month and three days later before all of the press actually wore masks inside the briefing room. This president has led on the issue at every single turn. And right now is no different. He pulled out a mask at the debate and said, here, I have mine. Mm -hmm. I wear mine. We socially distance inside the White House. I worked there for three years. We wore masks inside the White House. But the way the media tell it, it's as though they have been wearing masks the entire time. They have I don't not. Think that's the it. science I, on I this shifted, as you know. The... Dr. Fauci first said yeah. masks didn't matter. But then on, the Hogan, CDC came uh, out and said, no, they do matter. Real... And so then they started wearing masks. It's well, as simple as that. Okay. So we're just having a real conversation about it because even the imagery and the optics last night of the president standing up on the balcony facing the American people, showing his strength, pulls off his mask. Don't let this this right. virus defeat you. Is there any concern about that level of optimism, you know, and what that does to the American people who are trying to buckle down, trying to wear their masks, trying to social distance so we can stop the spread of this virus? What message does that send? Because even Axios this morning writing about the risks rising in the West Wing as he tore that mask off, still knowing he has the coronavirus and then walks into the White House. Okay, a couple things there again. The president's alone on the balcony outside. He takes his mask off. Flip over a couple of channels. Take a look at MSNBC. Joe Biden is sitting there without a mask next to Lester Holt without a mask. It's absolutely ridiculous to hear the media go apoplectic over this. And by the way, I didn't hear any concern when members of the media take their own masks off inside the briefing room and turn around and do Hogan, live just, shots. Just one big difference uh, that is, is that the, the, for them the president is currently shedding the virus. He's still in the middle of the 10-day virus phase. Um, Nancy Pelosi obviously sees this a much different way. I'll have you respond to her latest words on the president acting frivolously. Listen. As president of the United States, if he is acting frivolously with this virus, as he has done all along, he has been very destructive and dangerous to the country. So, Hogan, I'll ask you again, is there any shift in messaging as the president's now back at home, back at work, hopefully back out on the campaign trail? Right. You know, this was not a central issue to your campaign. Is it now? Right. But, but the president's mess message is clear. Uh, be, be careful, but don't be afraid. Folks, we are facing a global pandemic here. It cannot control and ruin our lives. We have shut down businesses to never return in this country. Millions of people have lost their jobs, have lost their livelihoods. We are trying to find a way to get this economy up and running. The president rebuilt the economy once. He'll do it again. We are seeing people out there struggling to make car payments, house payments, rent payments. It's tough to put food on your table and clothes on your kids' backs when you look at Joe Biden's prescription of just shutting the country down. The president understands there is a way to move forward safely. He has led on this issue. Joe Biden is backed into a corner inside of his basement, and when pressed on it, says, Hold of on. course I'd shut the country he, back he, down he again. He said if it the would science absolutely said to shut down the country, just to be clear, and he's back out on the campaign the trail American today. People. The, the roles have flipped. You know, Biden is not in the basement. He's out on the campaign trail today, by the way. He's heading to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, in, in, <laughs> and as the Wall Street Journal was writing this morning, you heard my conversation with Bill McGurn, perhaps. It, it's now Donald Trump that's at home with the virus. And, and we know that's the right thing. We hope that he fights this and gets through this. But now with Biden out on the campaign trail, what is the strategy on the part of, of the campaign to make up ground in these final weeks? Final thoughts. Okay, well, 
uh, President Trump, with coronavirus, uh, with quarantine, at Walter Reed, still did more events Sunday than Joe Biden did, first of all. Second of all, we've uh, instituted Operation MAGA, something we're very proud of here at the campaign, unleashing all of our um, uh, uh, folks here uh, to go out across the country, a lot of virtual events, utilizing the vice president, the first family, our coalition groups, Latinos for Trump, Black Voices for Trump, Women for Trump bus tour, all over the country, 12 states, doing things safely, but reminding the American people just the amount of record-setting success this president's policies ha ha have, have done to improve the lives of all Americans, regardless of race, religion, color, or creed, and also telling the American people how great this nation truly is, a beacon of freedom, of hope, of strength all over the world. We can talk about America's greatness because we believe in it. Okay, before Joe I let Biden you go, can't because he doesn't. And you talked about going full steam ahead, your campaign manager, Bill Stepien, did contract the virus as well. How is he doing? Uh, I'm not going to get into, obviously, uh, um, you know, specifics about him, but he seems really good. Uh, I've talked to him on the phone many times. I was just on a conference call with him. He's full steam ahead as well. We understand what's at stake in this country. We can't go backwards uh, to depress wages and jobs. Okay. All right. We've lost Hogan's shot. Sometimes we go too long and then we lose the satellite. Hogan, our apologies will, apologies will have you back soon. Appreciate his time this morning. Trace? Yep.